What's up guys? I am so excited because I just saw the trailer for the movie The Founder. Now I heard about this a while ago and I'm so excited. And if you guys don't know what it is, it's basically a film depicting how McDonald's came to be and the man Ray Kroc who built this thing to this global empire. Now when I first heard about this, I was excited and happy but at the same time very scared because I had read the book that this was based off grinding it out a year ago and I heard about this movie about six months ago. I was excited because someone had gone through probably hell to get this to become a Hollywood film and understand the amazingness of this story. I was scared because I knew that Hollywood and the general public and just people who don't know any better tend to skew, over glamorize, demonize, or you know misinterpret the story or just bend it into something that it, it highly is not or misrepresent this person. Honestly, the first minute and a half of this trailer, I was very, very surprised because it seemed to me like they really understood many aspects of what's going on here. You know, a lot of people look at McDonald's and they hate it because it's very unhealthy and it does all this horrible stuff to you, which I agree with. But from the perspective I wanted this movie to be displayed as, and as it should, is something where it was a homegrown movie back in the time when hamburgers and cheeseburgers were the norm. And they didn't know any better that this was severely unhealthy. This was about a man who built a business, a franchise, to a multi-billion dollar empire that was based off persistence, hard work. I mean, he didn't even meet the McDonald's brothers until his 50s. And he was a somewhat struggling salesman up until that time. And it's a great story that shows how you can do this. It should not be on what the documentary, I'm Loving It, revealed about the unhealthiness of McDonald's. This is about a man who built an incredible business. Towards the last minute of the trailer, you know, there was definitely stuff, quite a few things that I was like, okay, I don't know about this. There may be depictions or over glamorizing certain aspects of him to an extent where it's just like, I don't know. One of those things was this whole idea of, you know, him saying that, oh, contracts are simply things to be broken in the future. This kind of makes him seem like an evil dude who's not very ethical, and I don't think he was that type of person. Nonetheless, based off this two and a half minute trailer, I'm very excited about this movie because it seems to get quite a few things right. The director was the director of The Blind Side, a very famous movie. The way they film things, the main actor who plays Ray Kroc, the guy who creates this huge empire, he plays a role similar to how Tom Hanks played Forrest Gump, which I like. There is a severe American accent. I'm hoping that it comes out even more more so than what the trailer reveals because I think it would suit this film well. And there were certain elements of the film that nodded at the fact that the filmmakers really understood the key foundational, though subtle, reasons why McDonald's was such a success. The fact that it was not just in the burger business, it was in the real estate business. In fact, it still is and it's one of the largest real estate companies in the world because it's one of the few fast food restaurants that actually owns the land that the McDonald's restaurant is housed on. Believe it or not, Chipotle doesn't do something like that. They simply rent out the land that they sell their burrito bowls at. Honestly, it's one of those things where I'm a bit indifferent. I'm split and I'm ambivalent. What do I mean by that? Again, those two different parts. Part of me, I'm really excited to know that someone else really wants to bring out the story from the great book, grinding it out to a mass audience and really show what Ray Kroc did. The other part of me is like, oh my goodness, there, there will be things that will be misconstrued. But then generally speaking, that's kind of what happens nonetheless. When you sh throw something out there to millions of people, people will misconstrue certain things. 
My concern is focused on the things that the movie creators do control. And there were certain subtle things that they may have been overstepping their bounds with. Nonetheless, I am highly excited about this movie because there seems to be a lot of things that they are doing right despite all this. And my last biggest concern is probably that people will assume that, oh, Ray Kroc stole the whole idea from McDonald's. I think this is a huge fallacy and it's not true. And this was further spurred because there was a movie poster and that was the model behind it. It said he stole the idea from someone else. And that is far from the actual picture. The McDonald's brothers who came up with the idea and concept, they just wanted to relax and sit in their house and have that one restaurant. And it was Ray Kroc who did a lot of pushing and begging and then actually and then ended up having to do everything himself and then cut a big percentage check each time the franchise made a lot of money to get this going. And even then, he took a huge hit in terms of how much he had to pay the McDonald's brothers for all the money he made in real estate and all the money he made from the franchise. It was really Ray Kroc who built this incredible thing. And he lost a lot of money because of the deal he made with McDonald's and the big percentage that the McDonald's brothers took from him. If you're interested in learning more, I did a video on the book that this is based off about a year ago. I'll leave a link somewhere in this video, probably right here, you can click the I, to see that actual video I made if you want more detail. At the end of the day, I think it's overall a good message and it's, it'll be interesting to see this movie. Honestly, I don't even know everything about the history and perhaps I could learn a few things about business or uh, the history of this guy by watching this movie. So I'm also excited and I highly recommend you check out the book. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. It's called Grinding It Out and it was written by Ray Kroc. I think there's certain elements of the book that are just really interesting. Like there are certain items on the McDonald's menus that we all know and it's just interesting seeing how he came up with the idea like the fish fillet and then there are certain other items that he thought would do so well and it turned out not to be the case so it was a great business lesson in terms of testing i think this film i think this film will really show why sometimes when i walk into a store or somewhere in the public i really marvel at the history of everything you know, when I walk into McDonald's or Walmart, I see all the history behind what they did to build that and all the work that got put in. And I think this is one of those videos that will really show this. And I'm hoping that the viewing audience will overlook the unhealthiness and the minimal wage standards that have kind of happened because it's become this massive and somewhat bloated organization. And finally, the most fascinating part about the story, I don't know if they will actually talk about it. He ran into two other major business tyrants. None of these people knew how large and impactful that their organization, that their businesses would become one day. Ray Kroc was in the army and during that time, he met this weird kid called Walt Disney who wouldn't go out and drink with his friends but would always sketch these weird doodles on his notepad. He also did business with the guy who started the Marriott hotel chain. And Ray sold a bunch of these huge milkshake mixers to this guy and neither of them knew how big their companies would become. Hope you like this video. Of course, if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about self-development and success. You can hit the subscribe button below for free updates every Thursday. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. <music>